Yeah, well, it's 8.15. Everyone's here, except for Ben. Tony got married over the weekend. Yay. <laughs> and then went in for a um, honeymoon. Where'd you go? I went to Eureka. Eureka? Is it even worth it? Yeah, it's fine. So. Couldn't go too far, though. Now we're getting ready to get started. See how the day goes. So it's 2.30 not too terribly far away from being done. Tony's way off in the distance over there on the six, making the road a little, taking a little less crown out of it, widening it a bit, cutting the edges a little bit straighter. So I'm, I've already dumped a pile, which you probably can't see great in the mirror there. But I dumped a I dumped a pile there and shouldered out, and I know he's not getting any more dirt right there. So I'm debating just laying it here and then running, and letting him get it sorted out and go and get another load. But we're ahead of him by quite a bit. It's just it takes a little bit of time to do finish work like that. And one truckload's going a couple hundred feet, where before, you know, a couple days ago, one truckload was going. 20 feet or 30 feet or 40 feet, you know? So, got some pressure washing time. Had another LFD chisel for my uh, breakfast this morning. Yeah. The chisel got left out of my humidor for some reason and still smoked. A little dry, smoked a little hot, but still enjoyed it. I got a uh, EP Carrillo La Historia in E3. But I don't think I'm gonna have time to smoke it. This thing, to me, tastes like a chocolate bar. There's tons of uh, cocoa and coffee in it. So I really enjoy those. But don't think I'll have time. But a little bit slower every day today, which is nice. Jared's nursing a migraine. I'm tired, worked all weekend, and now it's Monday and I'm already dragging. So little by little, we're getting this done. Well, it's 4.50, everyone already left. It's, uh, so I stopped and uh, washed the dump truck. Well, I guess that's not quite fair to say. I rinsed it off, pressure washers back and cleaned out. So we cleaned the three, the pencil, oh, dust coming in. And I, uh, I wash the dump truck real quick. Blow some of the mud off of it. I'm always worried that mud's gonna, mud or dirt's gonna get packed into places and kind of start expanding and break stuff, pop um, electrical plugs apart and get into you know, leaf springs and pivots and joints and all that kind of stuff and mess stuff up. So I, uh, I like to rinse it off every so often. It's extremely dusty out here. And everything just gets covered right back in dirt. Like I'm driving out now and seeing the mirror very well. The uh, it's create kicking up a dust storm, but roads looking a hundred times better. Tony's back. Tony's about the best at this, and the road looks great. I'm sure we're gonna have to roll pack this with the loaded dump truck and get it uh, get it all all the air squished out of it because that's really all compacting dirt is you're just removing the air to make it a hundred percent dense uh, you can't quite turn it into rock or anything like that but air is what squeezes out and creates potholes and whatnot in gravel roads and then when water gets in there uh, siltiness will get pushed out by traffic so like on a country dirt road those most of those potholes are from um, either water expansion or siltiness getting pushed out by the weight of a car or something like that and you get that washboarding. Here when you're building a new road the potholes and these bumps this is a section he hasn't fixed yet and it's quite bumpy that's from air being pushed out of the dirt and then creating a low spot so we'll easily be done Oh, mid morning tomorrow. I'm sure we only got a couple couple more loads of shale to move. I was going to keep loading shale, but we rode a, ran out of fuel 
on the dump truck, so I kind of rode back and forth on the road with a loaded dump truck and roll packed it a little bit and then just decided to call it quits and then everyone else left as well. So I was like, well, the hell with it. I guess we'll just have an early day today. I usually work uh, 10, 12 hours typically, so leaving a little bit before five is unusual for me, but hey, I'll take it. So I'm about two miles north of Dover and I'm gonna go ahead and head on home. Come down here and help me real quick, hurry up. Come down here and help me real quick. Anyway. Yes! <laughs>